Is your internet business for sale? Five things you can do to get it in saleable shape. The best way to get your business in shape is to put it up for sale. Or at least act like you are selling it. What do you do when you are selling your house? You put in new mulch and clean up the basement and paint the kids' rooms. Once you've done this, it helps to sell your house. Although after you fixed it all up you might start thinking you don't really want to move, the best way to spruce up your website is to act like your internet business for sale. What would you have to do to sell your business? Assuming you really wanted to sell your business, what would you have to do to get it into shape so that somebody on the outside looking in would say, I gotta have that? Here are five things you can do. 1. Get more traffic. Traffic can come from many sources including article marketing, pay-per-click, banner ads, and joint ventures. If you bring more traffic to your site and are able to convert those numbers into sales, your market value goes up. Potential buyers will look at your site and know you're doing something right. Point two. Get a logo or update your logo. Are you still using that logo you created in Microsoft Paint in 2003? If you upgrade your logo, you are telling your visitors and subscribers that you're excited about going forward and making their experience on your site better all the time. This in turn may create more visitors and conversions and then create a higher value for your business. Point three. Better content, this is a simple one. If you keep saying the same thing over and over in different ways people get tired of it. If your goal is to have turnover and only bring in new customers and churn them until finished with them then this an acceptable plan. But if your plan is to cultivate visitors and subscribers you have and turn them into long-term paying customers then you must continually upgrade what it is you do. This means creating value at every turn. How? Read, investigate, learn and put your unique spin on your area of ability. You are obviously good at something that's why you started a site in first place. Remember what it is and go after it. Point 4. Go further into your niche. This is one I like because you get to work in an area that you already love. Take your services further. If you give search engine optimization for people new to internet marketing, you could also provide product development services. Doing this could convert more visitors to subscribers and make existing subscribers more loyal. Point 5. Give of yourself, allow your visitors to see more of the real you. I am a firm believer in letting the customer know who you are and what you are all about. Some will love you, some will hate you, but there are many fish in the sea. Life is too short to muddle around and try to be something you're not. These five things, if done properly, will increase the value of your internet business for sale and undoubtedly attract more potential buyers. The problem though is after you've done all of this, you probably will not want to sell. It's a funny thing isn't it? Banks won't loan you money until you prove you don't need it and your business won't sell unless you want to keep it.